now uh, what i am going to show you is i am going to show you with more efficient way of you know handling a csv file which is really close to the real time so with the help of the pojo classes that means with the help of the bean classes we are going to see how we can read the big csv files we have okay as i said we are going to deal with big csv file that's why i have taken a very big csv file guys no you could see how big this is okay uh, so uh, different ways of reading the csv files are actually this first open your csv file and see like this is the header is available or not when you have the header then i suggest you to go with headers option okay there also you have two options with the help of the column name uh, here are you you mention that column name in the java code or without as well but when you have the uh, uh, when you have the luxury of mentioning the column name in your code i suggest you to go that way but i am going to you know show different different ways in the code itself so that you get familiarized why i am saying is like sometimes you have the you know spacing in between the column names so it's better to handle that in your java code itself that i'll show you and sometimes you might not have the headers as well like in this case i have the header but sometimes you don't have the headers as well in that case how you need to proceed based on the index right so based on the position also you can proceed guys that also i am going to show you here okay so i am actually following this tutorial guys this is actually the official open csv tutorial okay so uh, let's get into it so as i said i am going to follow with the bean classes right so let me first create that uh, beans here something like csv uh, are bean like this i am taking because i already have uh, other names so i don't want it to get confused okay so first what you need to do is you take out the column names here okay uh, means header names you take out and paste it in your code again up to you uh, you know uh, comfort only but i'm going to show like this and with the help of the beans the best thing is you don't have to uh you know read all the columns guys that also another thing i'm going to show here if you want to read you can read if you don't want to read is again up to you okay so uh, i have taken an empty class here what you need to do is you need to uh, give here something like csv by uh, csv bind by name okay and here what i am doing is i have the name option so i am going with name and this is my csv header name so i am using that name here and if it's required you mention it as true okay if there will there were some columns in your csv which is going to be required all the time that means there should not be any data in your rows for that column should be empty okay so this is the id so i went with required as true but some cases you have to judge accordingly okay and take private string as something like airport airport id okay now here csv by name you import it and name also you need to yeah, sorry name it's a column actually okay then similarly I am going to take another one as well. Something like, let me copy this. And in the column name, I'll take this as a column. Okay. And required true as name. Okay. And uh, for other other thing, CSV bind by name. What I am doing is I am not taking this column name itself. So here. The thing is, if you see, I have the name and I could have different column name as well. With the help of the name uh, mentioned here, the CS open CSV will go to the header and it will look up for that head column name. Okay. 
when you don't mention the column name anything here okay when you don't mention anything here then you have to mention the same header name as presented in your csv that also could be a possible scenario guys so for this purpose i am taking another you know example something like this okay so we have tried with the uh, column names with the help of column and we are going with without any column names okay by maintaining the same header name and our java variable name same okay now let's see what we can do with the other thing like let's imagine like we don't have the column names in that case what we can do we can go with the, the index so it is at 0 1 2 3 4 i am taking the fourth index guys okay so simply again csv bind by name but here you take the thing uh, position and you give uh, we went with zero right zero one two three four so you have to give it as a four then private string you give something like uh, column name as iata we have right so iata data i'll take i just want to show it with a different uh, uh, thing so i am going like that okay csv okay now i don't want to read all other data from the csv if you want to read you can build something uh, like i have shown here capture uh, csv by csv by sorry in this case you have not going with csv by name when you are taking it uh, you have to go with csv by position guys okay this is a good one csv by position this is a good one okay now here i don't want to read all other data so i am removing it even that also you have the flexibility when you are doing with the pojo classes now what you need to do is you need to generate the setters and getters so for source simply go here generate you click on this generate setters and getters you select all and you generate it here in the down it will get generated okay then afterwards you generate a two string method or not is again up to you if you want to generate you can generate if you are using as part of your code then you can okay so select all then you click on not these things you click on generate in the down it will generate the two string method okay guys you understood it here i am generating generating setters and getters that's good here uh sorry not here actually somewhere uh here okay then uh here by name different options we went here and by position also we went with a different option like csv find by position okay now you save this this is my single row single row how the data should look like this is my bean class okay now let's take the another class something like read entire csv here actually we are pointing to the exact csv file okay that we have not pointed previously we just went with the uh, you know template previously now we are pointing actually okay so it is csv uh, csv to bean builder right csv to bean builder here that is uh new csv to bin builder here and new file reader and you point to, to where your file is available okay so this is my location i'm going to show you what type we need to mention okay i'll explain it in a minute csv okay here 
uh, let's import csv bean builder let's import the file reader and uh, let's keep everything into the try catch okay this is good because we might get this file not found exception okay here uh, it is having so many rows that means every row could be my you know how can i get everything using the list right so i am going to save this in a list list of what so every row is having some pattern some template here that template is actually my bean right this is my bean right so that template is this so it is going to return me the list of this something like csv r uh, csv bean reader i'll take okay reader object i'm taking okay this list you import it from the util package okay now uh, list of okay yeah yeah fine understood here uh, here instead of this what we need to do is here dot with the type as which type you are going to convert i am going to converting this into my bean type that you need to mention guys bean type sorry, bean type dot class method with build dot perform sorry build dot pass here okay so i am going to pass this file into this class that is a meaning okay once you have this in the list format you can simply iterate so csv uh, bean something like cr of this one so because i am my list is of this type i am taking this into my for loop okay then simply use our generated getters right we have generated a getter site right? so get airport id will be used here and then cr dot get city will be used here okay again cr dot get something like all the methods you can do here get a country i am using and i am going to use my position way of derived one that is get iada something we have it iada data yeah this is what it is so uh, let me run this and show you the output now uh, okay we got the position one perfectly right if you see the position one we got it perfectly but for this somehow i got null value guys why null value that we need to see this is a column column name has to match with this one okay this is correctly only column name see bind by name right this is correct only i have given required as true and if i remove this one let's see what is going to happen required it is entire data as csv still the same okay so uh, i think i think we should not mention everything in a same i think so we have given with the position right private string required column is equal to true let me show here yeah. column is equal to true last name this is correctly only but find by name no csv bind by name bind by name csv bind by name this is also correctly only okay so where i am going wrong actually not able to identify maybe if i remove this iaca data 
remove these getters and setters let's see maybe the doubt is i might not use both of them in a single class i might use not sure exactly i'm not uh, sure so i should not comment i guess now let me run this yeah if you see here i got this correctly so uh, the thing is happening is either of one type you have to use in a class might not be two types okay so i am using csv by name right so either i have to use entirely by name or i have to use entirely by position i believe okay so for iada now what i'll do is i can simply use something like this okay something like uh, iada it's again you know guys uh, what i can say is like it's again um, talent ever method only I am not an expert. You are not. You might be an expert, but I am not an expert. That's one thing I can say. So you have source. You click on the. Uh, you go to the source. You click on generate setters and getters only for IADA. Yes, generated. Now you use that as part of this. Okay. Something like CR data getter IADA. Okay. So. Let me run this now and show you the output. Now you could see we got it properly. So that is my landings, uh, guys. So uh, yeah, uh, if you see here, we got uh, the airport ID and the city, country, and the IATA. Okay. So I have showed you this CV. Uh, you know with the help of the bin with the help of column without help of column and i showed you in the position as well but somehow that is my understanding is not so right here so that's it uh, as part of this video guys i hope this video is informative for you guys if you found it useful what you need to do you need to click on that subscribe button guys thank you so much for watching thank you it's me karthik